You are now tuned in to the leaders of real street music, Street Hood Radio, with your host, Johnny Cash, here on StreetHoodRadio.com. That is a cut in production. Street Hood Radio, who's on the line? Hey, motherfucking innovator. What up, nigga? What's going on, son? <laughs> now, hey, what was shit? Right? I'm like, damn, fucking 908, 973. But well, anyway, what's going on? Same old, same old. Yeah, that was, that was the people calling in, man. I'm letting them know I'm going live. All right, you already, That's all. you already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So let all my listeners know where you from and how you came up with the name Blue the Innovator. Uh, Jersey City, man, um, Blue Innovator, Innovation, man, just taking this shit to a new level where a lot of cats ain't taking it, man, all kind of music, we ain't stuck in just a rap game, we make music over here in hood culture, man, that's all, mm-hmm. well, that's what so, you know. So, do you think, do you think nowadays you gotta have, like, a catchy name or gimmick to make it? Uh, kinda, kinda, I mean... You gotta have that character People wanna see you in character I mean, that's what, it's entertainment at the end of the day So you gotta be somebody You gotta present yourself as somebody You know what I'm saying? I mean, the name can't make you though You still gotta be able to do this You know You gotta be able to put in that work You gotta be able to come up with hot music I mean, your name ain't gonna do it alone So you think that being in a character mode Don't you think that take away Like, from the artist As being a talented artist A lot of the times? I mean, it depends on who you are. I mean, if you could, if you, if your character is still you, then no. You know what I'm saying? If your character is, is organic and it's kind of still who you are, then no. If you could present it to them in a real way, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they want to see you in full character mode, and that's that's who they love. That's the people they see on TV every day. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I rather, I don't know. I don't think you have to be. I don't think it takes away. Okay. So let me ask you this. Now, would you dress up as a character or whatever for that multi-million dollar deal? Uh, you talk about on some mace, some, some shiny suits? Yeah, shiny suits, dressed like a clown or a ch- whatever. Uh, you know how they did it back in the days like Africa Bambada, you had George Clinton and all these people. Would you dress up in any kind of way just to be a rapper to get that multi-million dollar deal? Uh, to keep it real, I don't think it would fit. I don't think it would fit. We had to do a lot of negotiating. I say that I don't think it would fit though. Mm-hmm. I say, uh, so I keep it simple. I say no. I might be lying, but I say no. <laughs> so let me ask you. So who's in your iPod right now? What you bring? Uh, me. Who? Me. That's it. Oh, this is you. I, I told it to somebody else. I've been lying. Oh, so and everything I've made, and I'm listening to the new shit I'm about to get on, and all, all type of shit like that. I don't even listen to nobody, man. They, you know, and that's 100 percent true. Right, so my damn car away. radio on zero, the volume on zero. That would take away from my next question, because I was going to ask you who you think would have the top selling album between Lil Wayne and Kanye and Jay Z by this time next year. Uh no comment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can get real reckless, man. The street, the radio. I, I, I know, but I mean, I don't even to keep it real. I don't, I don't listen to Lil Wayne too much. And uh, that watch the drone shit. You know, I'm a big fan of Jay, but you know, yeah. that, that to keep it real, the one song they got out that oldest to me, I don't even see how motherfuckers can rap on that beat the way the sample is. Hell I mean, man, it just that shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, I don't know. I don't pay attention to this shit, to keep it honest. Not at this point in my career, what I'm doing. I don't pay attention to nobody's shit. I got tunnel vision. That's what it is. So, what would be the ultimate feature if you were to come out with a hot new single signed to a new deal, whether it's a male or female, that you would like to work with? Uh, you know, one of them big names, man. I had to put a big name on it so that that motherfucker go where it need to go. If it was a female, I'd say something like Rihanna. If it was a male, I'd say, uh, and I could choose from many on the male tip. Maybe Jeezy, maybe, uh, Jay-Z, 
I mean, if we was at that level, uh, any a lot of people were out, man. I can't even. That's a that's a ten people question. So a lot of artists. I mean, between Jay Z, Jeezy, we say Ross, somewhere around there. So what made you pick Rihanna? Yo, know, Rihanna make that. She make that hot flip, man. I ain't gonna lie. Rihanna shit is hitting. It's, I mean, her shit is hitting. She, she got that. She got that unique sound. Somebody like a bell. You know, one of one of them kind of some, some singers who can really take it there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can tell the difference between when they come on and another singer come. On, too. Yeah. So what's the name of the mixtape that you're working on right now or have out right now? Uh, the new joint is called 2K12. Basically, it's just on some shit they ain't even here yet. You know what I'm saying? The same, the same innovation, just taking it to another level. 2K12, we want some future shit, all the music produced by uh, Ryan Walker, Nature Boy. I mean, and we just gonna take this shit to the top from this one. We come with all kind of music, lots. Kind of, kind of mixed flavor on this one. And we ain't stuck with no boundaries on this one. Ain't no parentheses as they say. So how many joints you got on that? Uh, I'm looking to do about 12 or 13. About 12 or 13 tops. Okay. We give them all quality music. The last mixtape I just put out, put out maybe about 24 songs, but it, you know, it was just something to keep them going. It was, you know, this one is, is more advanced. This one is next level. So Better than any other project. That Addicted to Paper video, who came up with that concept? Cause I make like that shit right there. Man, that addicted to paper, and that 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 you see is the promo video. Now, it ain't even the actual video. Oh, okay. That's that's the promo video to get ahead and put out there to give people that visual because that song. A lot of people I know fucking with that song. I know yeah. kids singing that song, man. So that was just the visual to, to get that out there to the people, so they could have a visual to add with the song, the ones who heard the song. So other than rapping, what else do you do? Uh, fuck with the t-shirts, you know, CD, DVD, duplication, you know, flyers, whatever they need, really, whatever any artist to use on, on the up and come up as myself, you know what I mean? Just trying to, it's that old saying, one hand wash the other, both wash the face, trying to help a motherfucker out wherever I could, basically, without screwing them over. We got a lot of niggas in this industry, they, they just about self, and they just about money. Them niggas have always felt like the end of the day, you can't run like that. So you got to be able to help a motherfucker so he can help you one day. So how can they contact you if somebody need like a t-shirt or a flyer or CD cover or whatever? Um... 803-451-9110 You can hit me up on the website Go to innovator.com You can hit me up on the other website Here's culture ENT.com No spaces on nothing Or uh, blue innovator at gmail.com Hit me up on Twitter At blue the innovator Facebook At blue the innovator Google 14 Blue the innovator Anywhere the same thing Just spell my name right Know how it go what it is and I was just about to ask you about this whole HC let everybody know what that whole movement is about yeah HC man we just we just we, we that whole brand that brand you see all in your face all the time that that you kind of get tired of it is everywhere that's that whole culture that hustle it, it should have been hustle culture mm-hmm. but that's all we do we just trying to make it happen trying to get people aboard and see what we doing and, and hear this music and know that this shit is real. It ain't none of that play play music and everything is strictly from the heart. All the mean making music, talking about Maseratis and none of that. We ain't there yet. Yeah. We still for the hood. You still see me every day if you know me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't got to get flashy, but niggas know I can take it there. Yeah. So it's just hood culture, man. Niggas who represent the struggle together like I do. So being part of hood culture, you know what I'm saying? Y'all like accepting like R&B acts or anything like that, or it doesn't? Yeah, really- rock man, everything, talented individuals. That's that's all you need to be. I mean, I probably could deal with a motherfucking attitude. You know what I'm saying? The talent there. Yeah. And ain't the same the issue. As long as the talent there, shit, I'm willing to work with anybody. That's what it is. So before we get out of here, just let everybody know one more time how to get in contact with you on your social networking or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Twitter at Blue the Innovator. That's D A I N O V A T O R. No spaces. Uh, Facebook Blue the Innovator. 
Global 14, Blue the Innovator, Hood Culture, ENT.com, No Spaces, Blue the Innovator.com. Uh, I mean, in the streets, you might bump into me. If you, if you, in my, in my call log, you got me locked in, so wherever. I'm, you can, I ain't hard to find. I'm probably going out tonight. That's what it is. I can't wait to hear them, them verses. On that track. Yeah, that's what I was about to get at. I was about to get at. I I ain't get to them yet, man. I just was working on another song last night that I just just finished right before I called you. Yeah. But I'm I'm ready to get on that and the, the production is fire on them joints too. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm kinda enthused to get on those. Yeah, my man be going in. That I do it in that um coming for the crown, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my producer John Coleman did those. But yo, once again, you know what I'm saying? I'd like to thank you for calling in the street here radio, man. And anytime you want to come through, you got some new tracks, you want me to bang it out there, yo, get at me. I'm going back live Monday. You know what I'm saying? If I hate it or love it, you know what I'm saying? I'm in five countries, like I was telling you right now. So the first the first act is coming out of Toronto. I'm just coming Monday. So you know, let everybody right. know to tune in. 8 o'clock Eastern, streetherradio.com. That's what it is And I'm gonna be banging your joint So I need that Addicted to Papers I need that I ain't seen you that Nah I got the video uh, I need the MP3 to that So I can bang that Monday I definitely will do that And I got something else for you I'm gonna have that record for you too Alright then So that's what it is So good luck man right. And I hope to You know what I'm saying Be doing some more work with you and we, you know what I'm saying, get this networking on and take over some shit, man. We got to... Yeah, man, East hopefully. Coast. Shout out to everybody who tuned in, too. Street Hood Radio, really appreciate this shit. Johnny Cash, nigga. We the innovator. We out. All right, peace. All right. I put it in. Chief.